pull them straight up. Like this. Like this. Okay. What's going on, everybody? Sorry for the long hiatus uh, on uploading our, our this video. We've we've been very busy with getting ready for vacation, going on vacation, and trying to trying to get back in the swing of things when we came back. Uh, this video is going to be about the painting of the front bumper. Uh, it did not turn out how I want it to be. Uh, you're going to see the whole process here in just a minute on what I did and how I did it. And I, I made, a, I believe I made a whole lot of mistakes and I just, I think I got in too big of a hurry to try to get it ready for Texas Mustang Division. That already happened. But uh, I was in a real hurry. I had like two or three days to get it done. I don't have an air compressor, so I had to use spray paint. Uh, I'm trying to do what I can as far as budget wise. And it did not turn out how I wanted it to turn out. I'm gonna let you watch this video and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like. This was done pre-Texas Mustang Invasion. These videos were made where I did the bumper painting and everything was done pre-Texas uh, Mustang Invasion. So, like I said, we've been busy, so I didn't have a chance to upload it. Enjoy the video. Uh, if you see the mistakes I made, please comment, tell me how I can do better. Uh, obviously, better would be to use a spray gun with a with an air compressor and stuff, but I just, I don't have the money for that right now. Uh, maybe soon, you never know. And uh, I may just have to find a, a used bumper for the time being. But enjoy the video and uh, just let me know what you think. Good afternoon, everyone. On today's video, we are going to start working on painting the bumper. The, when you see this video, it'll probably, it'll, probably, it'll be after, uh, when you see this video, it'll be after Texas Mustang Invasion, but I'm trying to do this for Texas Mustang Invasion. So, I'm gonna, we're gonna pull the bumper off, we're gonna start sanding, and then we're gonna paint the bumper. Well, we're gonna sand it, we're, we're gonna fix all the little imperfections in it, uh, prime it, and then paint it, and then clear it. So let's get started. To take the bumper off, we have two bolts that are behind here, and then we have two clips, one here, one here, and then two bolts behind the bumper on this side. Don't have any clips on the bottom because I haven't put them on yet. Oh, and then we'll probably, I think, I don't know if there's any clips under the headlights, but I'm gonna pull the headlights out and we'll find out if there's any under there. Let's start by pulling these clips out for the headlights. Okay. Just pull them straight up. Like this. Like this. Okay. Sorry, Dad. It's all right. You gotta pull it slowly. Just pull straight up. There you go. Okay, next. And pull the headlight out and unhook it. <clears throat> that was easy. Yeah, these are pretty easy. Don't. And one thing you want to do, you want to make sure you don't touch the headlight bulb with your fingers. The, um, bulb? It's, it's hanging out. You'll see it in just a second. Then you have your parking light or blinker. Just like the other one. Pull the clip up. Wow. Just pull straight out. Okay, now we're gonna un this by turning it. Mm -hmm. We're gonna turn it. Lucky Lucy. I can't remember. Some of these are different. There you go. Just don't touch the bowl. Nope. Did it come off? Here, hold on. That's all right. There. And then this one. Just like the other one, it's got a broken clip. Okay, so then just set that over with the other one. Okay, next we're going to take these clips out right here. Right here? Yep, so we're going to get a Phillips screwdriver. You remember what a Phillips looked like? Mm, the one that looks like an X? Yes, the one that looks like an X, you're right. Which one's a Phillips, which one's a flathead? Phillips, flathead. There you go. Phillips. You're gonna unscrew these. Okay. All right, so we got the screw part out. Next, I'm gonna pull it. Pull the clip out. Mm -hmm. 
take that off. I'll set it to the side. I think we, have to that. we just have to do the bolts now. I'm going to let you do that side over there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do this side because it's hard to get to. There they are, right there. You gotta get those two nuts off. I don't think it's on. Sometimes you gotta feel around with your hand first. That's what there. See, that one's loose enough, you'll probably be able to spin it off. Here, loosen this one. You coming off? Okay, so there's one. Go ahead and grab that other one. It's back there. You should be loose. It's all right, we'll get it. All right. Wow, just like that. Because <laughs> the bottom pieces weren't on. All right. All right, so now, now that the bumper's off, we're going to pull the car out of here, and I'm going to set it up on my sawhorses, and I'll start sanding it and stuff like that, getting it prepped to paint it. So let's get that done right now. This being a V6 bumper, it had these little lines where the uh, fog lights go. So I had to cut these out because it's, it's already got the mounting spots for the fog lights for the GT. You just have to cut these little lines out and stuff. So you just throw these in the trash. You sand it down and stuff and it's ready to go. Start off with some 600 grit. I'm gonna sand down the whole bumper with 600 grit, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over one pass. And if it still looks like it needs another pass, I'll go over it after that. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna start with 600 grit, and then I got some I got some 1500 grit to do after clear and all that stuff, so we can buff it out.
while the bumper's drying out in the sun, I'm letting after uh after sanding it and uh, washing it off, I'm gonna let it dry out real good, and then I'll do glazing putty. But anyway, while that's going on, I'm gonna put the new headlights in because I want to see what they look like. So here's the new ones, one of the new ones, right here. If you can see, so I'm gonna throw those in real quick, and that way we can get an idea of what these things are gonna look like on the car. I'm gonna set these down. As you, as you can remember, I'll, I'll kind of go over it again. All it is is you put the bulb sockets in, and then you put the two clips in the back, and that's it. That's how you put these headlights in. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick, and then I'll pick the camera back up and show you what it looks like. I got them in. I got the ones with the clear reflectors on the side. Tara and I, Tara and I thought that would look best with the black car. Well, these headlights look good. They look way better than those old ones. Uh, it'll look a lot better once I get the bumper back on and get the car completed. But here's the old ones. You see one of them's, one of them's damaged right there from the accident that it had. And then both of them are peeling. Like, I guess the clear coat on them or whatever on them is peeling. So I got these from Late Model Restoration. Yeah, they were just over $100. For both uh, together not each and uh, they come with a one-year warranty so to me you couldn't beat it but anyway all right I'm gonna get back on sanding this bumper and complete the front of this car so we can get ready for Texas Mustang invasion in two days totally forgot to turn the camera on sorry about that all I did was put a little layer of a uh, glazing putty on it so I'm gonna continue. I gotta put some more on anyway. If you use this glazing putty, make sure you wear a mask. I've actually got safety glasses. I gotta find them. I'll get them in just a second. next day uh, I had to stop so I could go to work all right I've got glazing putty put over all these spots got it sanded down and I'm gonna put on my first coat of primer first I'm gonna tack cloth it I'm gonna, I'm gonna tack cloth it first then I'm gonna put on my first coat of primer and let it dry and then go to the second coat I think I'm gonna do two coats of primer and then I'm gonna do two coats of base coat and two coats of clear. Uh, if I had more time, I'd probably do three coats, but I don't have as much time. But anyway, I'm gonna get started on that. I'm gonna sit and uh, we'll see how it looks when it's done.
primer on. I'm gonna sand it down. Wet sand it. Get this, cause this, I mean, this stuff's like high build. Or something. It's real rough. Anyway, I'm gonna wet sand it. And then I'm gonna start with the uh, coats of black paint. And see where we can get with that. So, so far I've got two coats of black on here. And I'm going to, about to throw the third coat on. I really say they're light coats, so they're not heavy coats, so that's why you see some imperfections. Um, I'll finish, I'm gonna finish up with this coat, let it dry another 30 minutes or so. <clears throat> and then, uh, I'll assess from there. I'm probably gonna, I'm thinking it's gonna need four coats maybe a fifth like good cover coat and uh anyway i can't really i've stopped doing a time lapse i don't want to get any paint on my camera so i'm just going to give you step by step so far this is what we got see right here which you can really see on the back side of it how like uneven it is right now but that'll be taken care of all right let me get back to work all right this is after coat number three starting to look a lot better I'm hoping one more coat but this backside's looking worse I don't know I might not even worry about the bottom part too much I mean you're not gonna see it and this is honestly I mean I see this as temporary until I can maybe I can source a black bumper you know find, find a factory black bumper because I don't know how it's gonna look after the clear goes on it and this is just to kind of get me through Texas Mustang Invasion and stuff. I figured it'd look a lot better than the red one. But I'm going to continue, put another coat on there and see how it looks. And then let it dry really good and start putting on clear. Here's the final product for now. It's not the greatest, but it turned out okay for what it, what it is. It's spray paint. It'll work for now. Like I said, I'm going to get something else. This is just temporary. Maybe get a new bumper and try to paint it. I just don't have the compressor to handle the gun. But that's it for now. I'll take some video of it with it on the car. Thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, we're really trying to get this channel going. You know, I mean, the the 
con there wasn't a whole lot of content for this car, I guess. I mean, there's this car didn't need a whole lot. I mean, it was really not that bad off. Still a couple little things to do, and I'll video those as it comes along. But I just want to say thank you for watching. If you like the video, please hit the like button, and please subscribe to our channel. It means a lot to us. And hit that notification bell, so that way you can be notified of any new videos that come along that we post up. Also, follow us on Instagram at this link right here to get a little more. We, we post a little bit more on Instagram than we may do on YouTube. You know, I mean, stuff like pictures and stuff like that of the car uh, while we're out driving it. You know, we'll just take pictures of it and post it on Instagram. But anyway, thanks again for watching. Have a great day.